I hate my job. First time poster and all that amazing jazz. Okay, so when I got my first job at a fast food place, I was really excited because I'd be earning my own money. The first few months there were great. My birthday was celebrated and everything. Anyways, we have this really socially awkward old African American man who occasionally comes in and orders food and takes a nap at one of our tables. The managers don't mind because they figured he's homeless. One day he comes into our store looking really flustered and he's groping himself in all the wrong places and turns into our bathroom. I don't think anything of it and kept taking all the current customers orders. After about five orders, which usually takes about 10 minutes if the orders are short. The old man walks out and is fumbling with what I thought was his wallet at first, and I couldn't really see unless I squinted. Oh, how wrong I was. It turned out to be his really gross erection, and he was playing with himself in the lobby near the restrooms. I was so shocked, I didn't want to move, so I looked away and hoped he would stop. He didn't, and kept doing it all the way up to the end of our counter, which is about three registers away from where I am. I'm shaking and feeling really grossed out when he finally puts it away, and he walks up to order some food. When he's done ordering, I walk away and ask my coworker if she saw what he was doing. She said she did and told me to get our manager, and he basically tells me to brush it off. He probably wasn't doing that. After dinner rush, my manager sends me out to clean up the lobby and to stock the soda area. As I'm cleaning up the soda area, I see the old man groping himself while staring at me, and I start to really get uncomfortable and walk away. That's when he started grunting, and I just ran to my manager, and I'm so uncomfortable, I'm, ha I'm about to have a panic attack. My manager finally decides to believe me, and he goes out into the lobby to ask the man to leave. The old man isn't there, but he left a huge mess on the table, which mostly consisted of used napkins. It's been a few weeks since he came in. I hope it was the last. So creepy old man touching himself in the lobby, I hope we never ever meet again. Finger and ear licking good. One summer, I worked at a fast food eatery that specialized in greasy chicken to earn textbook money. I'm pretty good with people and I'm quite friendly, so it was no surprise that I was put on the front registers. Part of my job was to help the really elderly by carrying their trays with food to their table. Sundays were always our busiest days since we get the church crowds after services let out. There was an older couple of women who came in every day that I would help. I love these ladies. They were patient and they always asked me how I was doing. One Sunday during the rush, my boss covers me at the register so that I can help the ladies with their trays. This Sunday, they had a companion, an elderly gentleman I had never seen before. When I put down their trays and told them to enjoy their meal, he stood up and exclaimed, Aren't you just as sweet as pie? Then stuck his tongue in my ear. I was so shocked that I just stood there for a moment. I tried to rationalize it by thinking he just meant to kiss my cheek, but then his tongue started moving. I noped it all the way to my supervisor's office and cried. I was 19 at the time and could hold my own with people my own age, but this guy had caught me completely off guard. To make matters worse, he came back a few days later during a slow period. My boss was in the back doing inventory and there was no one in the dining room. He leaned over the counter and grabbed my arms. I was trying to pull them back over the counter and was trying to yell, but I couldn't make any noises. My boss just laughed and the guy left never to return. I'm not sure why my boss was laughing, but I quit the next week to go back to school. Those nice ladies left me a nice tip on my last day even though this was fast food and I never saw Mr. Creepy again.
The Blind KFC Pedo. I've been living in my town for the best part of my childhood, and it's considered to be one of England's best places to live. So I never imagined I would ever get myself into a situation where I could be the victim of a rape by a local old man. I was out about in town with a few mates, 16 to 17 year olds, at about 10 p.m. and we decided to go down to KFC, which was just outside the main town center. A blind old Indian man came into the KFC while we were waiting for our order, and he took out a 10 pound note and asked us if it was a tenor or a fiver because he obviously could not tell. We told him it was a tenor, and he went on saying how last time he couldn't tell and someone gave him the wrong change. Seeing as we were far too occupied by the food that we were about to get, we didn't really listen to him and paid no attention until he came up to me and asked if I could help him cross the road to get into the main town center as he needed to go to the video store. He sort of kept on tugging at my denim jacket and I felt really awful and sorry for him so I told him that I would. I was sort of really awkward about the whole situation, so I asked my friend if she would come too. She didn't really say anything, but kept on laughing because I didn't know how to control this man with words apart from, go straight. After about 30 seconds of walking, this man slightly went onto the main road, and I panicked and shouted for him to stop and he managed to get back onto the pavement, but while he did, he grabbed onto me, taking me by the hand. He had sort of a strong grip and was really getting close, but I figured it was because the road we were about to cross was pretty difficult and dangerous. He kept on telling me how he had no family and he just needed to go out to get some cigarettes, but couldn't cross the road to get home and the store. He kept on insisting after we had got further up that we should take him even further. His accent was a pretty strong Indian one, so I couldn't make out a lot of what he was saying, but I kept on hearing how he needed to get to the video store and how he had no family to help him. To be fair, I felt pretty awful for him, like he didn't even have a proper walking stick, he just used a crutch. Every so often, he would ask if my friend was still with me, even if she was slightly behind making no noise, and I would say yes and that she was right next to me. Every time we stopped for the lights, he kept on getting nearer and holding my hand tighter. After we had crossed the road and were in town, my friend informed him that we had to go back because we needed to get back to the rest of our mates and uh, we were done leading him across the road. He then said that we had told him that we could lead him all the way to the other side of town to where the video store was and tried to make us feel guilty by telling us that he didn't have anyone else. He was literally begging us and I couldn't say no. Although as I tried to free my hand to check my phone, he wouldn't let go of it. When I finally managed to, he put his arm around my waist and brought me closer to him. I sort of got a bit angry and told him that we needed to go back. He said that he was really sorry for the trouble but he needed us for only another five minutes. I agreed, and he grabbed my hand again, and we walked halfway down the high street, when a group of guys my age mouthed my friend to go over to them. I stopped and waited while the man was trying to drag me along by pulling at my hand, saying how he had to get a move on since the store was closing and he needed to get home. There was this narrow path leading to a car park, and he dragged me up to it. He tried to get me into it by pulling me, and I then realized he wasn't blind, and was trying to make me away from my friend and the other people. I then sobbed and aggressively told him to let go of me and that he, he wouldn't take me any further up the alley. My friend then screamed and told me to get away from him and tried to free my hand but he literally wouldn't let go and I sort of pushed him off shouting. He kept on reaching out but to try to grab me, but I ran back to my friend and this group of people. They told me this man was a part of a scam where rapists and pedophiles would pretend to be blind 
and guilt young girls into leading them back to their houses or small alleyways and then, and then rape them. If it hadn't been for those people, I would have probably been raped and ditched in the alleyway. It all kind of made sense after I thought about it. He went into KFC and didn't buy anything, just used the money as an excuse to talk to us. He didn't have a proper walking stick. He pretended to trip over just so that he could grab onto me and put his arms around me. And he kept on asking my friend when she wasn't saying anything and hoped that I was alone. I was pretty stupid for not seeing all the signs that he was a fake and I probably won't be helping any old blind men cross the road in the near future.